A trial for accused serial killer Jeremy Skibicki is scheduled to begin in April here at the Manitoba Law Courts. This week, an online survey on Skibicki is being condemned by a daughter of one of his alleged victims, First Nations leaders, and criminal justice and Indigenous studies student Nicole Murdoch. Murdoch says she was having coffee Wednesday morning when she got a text message asking her to fill out a survey about issues in Manitoba. Murdoch opened the survey and started filling it out, but didn't finish it. I couldn't understand what the relevance was, and it just immediately set off alarm bells, not knowing who this was for and what the intention was. Murdoch later learned through a CBC Manitoba report the survey conducted by Main Street Research was paid for by Legal Aid Manitoba, who Skibiki's lawyer works for. CBC got a link and reviewed the survey's 24 questions. It asks respondents if they recognize Skibiki and if they formed an opinion on whether he's guilty. It also asks about potential defenses, including not criminally responsible by way of mental disorder, problematic DNA evidence, and self-defense. It was distressing and disheartening. Cambria Harris is the daughter of Morgan Harris, one of the four victims. She says the survey's inappropriate. It's impacting me greatly. If anything, it's given me more of a reason to push forward and continue fighting for my mother and to get her voice heard. Because I don't know what the ulterior motive is behind this survey, right? Skibicki's lawyer Leonard Taylor declined comment. Legal Aid, which receives most of its funding from the province, wouldn't say why the survey was done or how much it cost. Murdoch supports a lawyer's efforts to defend their client, but feels the cost of the survey should be made public. Funding in dollars has been a central argument and case made against not searching the landfill and bringing these women home to their families. I think the question of dollars and funding for that reason is then important. Legal Aid Manitoba's Executive Director Peter Kingsley says it has an obligation to provide the same level of defense that would be available to a person who has the means to pay for their own lawyer. Kingsley says Legal Aid has policies and procedures in place to make sure spending on surveys, experts and private investigators, for example, is justified. He says sometimes unpopular decisions have to be made based on the unique facts of each case. Josh Crabb, CBC News, Winnipeg.